Hello everyone, it's Leo, and in this video we're going to take a look at some new merchandise concerning the Miracle Leap movie, but first, let's talk about the great news concerning Kira Kira Precure a la mode. Yes, as we can see here, the territories that this season is available have been expanded. And if we go to the Crunchyroll official website, we can see that now it's available in lots of new places. And now they are including North America, Latin America, Australia, New Zealand, and South Africa to the countries that Kira Kira is available. It was already available in some countries in Europe, and now more places around the world can watch Kira Kira Precure officially. I am super, super happy. Uh, this is one of my favorite seasons. I am already re-watching it. I'm already on episode 8. I'm a very slow watcher, but for Kira Kira Girl, nothing is holding me back. I am super happy and I'm super excited. This season is everything to me. I am loving it. I'm, I'm, I'm loving remembering this great season that is Kira Kira. The, the English logo is looking pretty nice, right? I love it. And oh my god, everything about this season is awesome. Ichika's voice, I didn't remember how good it was. And Pekuri! Pekuri! The best. Simply the best. But let's go to what I want to talk about. Uh, the official Twitter account for the Precure movies that is now promoting the Miracle Leap movie, the All-Stars movie from 2020, has shown us yesterday a new merchandise line, which is a collaboration from Precure to a um, clothing line, I believe, which is called DGC. And this line, uh, from what I've gathered, they collab with lots of idol groups, celebrities and such. But now they are also collaborating with Precure. So we're going to have kind of like a fashion show uh, in uh, Miracle Leap. And I just loved it. So we have this picture of our three main girls on a fashion stage on a runway. This actually looks more of like a concert thing to me. But I feel like uh, what they really want to show is a fashion stage. And we have fashion lines so from what i believe those clothes are going to be sold they're part of the dgc line so if you want to be a fashionable girl or a fashionable guy you can get those clothes in japan when the collab starts it it starts in september 5 so it's still going to take a while for uh for us to actually see the clothes but we can already see the merchandise at least so if we go to the website the movie website we can see those two pictures that we've already seen on twitter but we can see more we can see all of the characters girl yes we can see all of the characters from miracle leap just take a look at this Damn, this is really, really incredible. So we have a poster of uh, the two pictures that we've already seen on Twitter, but we have more than that, obviously. So we have the yellow girls here. The yellow girls... <laughs> and obviously we have Emiru together with them because, you know, not enough to create a red team of its own. So the, red, the yellow and red girls, they look really adorable. I just love the fashion style of all of them. Elena, girl, you're always rocking. No matter what you wear, you're always rocking it. And look at Emiru's size. I just can't with how small she looks at this. She looks really, really adorable. Hinata, always the fashion queen. And Homare is another uh, type of person that every time I look at her, I think, oh my god, stylish, oh my god, queen, yes, works, lay mama, because everything she wears, she rocks, you know, she is uh, a professional skater, she's not a model, but if she were a model, you know, she would succeed on it, because girl can make everything look stylish, I just love Homare's style, so, you know, for this picture, I love everything about it, I love Elena, you guys know, like, no secret, and the tiny Emiru, you know, just really, really captured my heart. So we also have the blue girls, which aren't really the blue girls because there's a purple girl there. But, you know, I think she fits because the other criteria gets uni better than this one. And for the first time, I must say, Chiyu is looking glamorous. 
She's looking glamorous on this one. And I always call Chiyu the, the grandma of the group. I always do this. And, you know, I am not uh, shading her. I'm just telling the truth. But girl, I just love this style. I think she is my favorite concerning style of out of all of them. She looks incredible. This costume, it looks very, very posh. It looks super, super elegant. The shoes, everything is on point. Madoka also looks kind of like street style, but fashion and, you know, lots, lots, lots of attitude. And Saya is also giving us attitude because, you know, for you to wear that kind of thing, you need to have like 100 points of style and charisma, girl, because if not, they would look horrible on you. But on Saya, they look amazing. They look really, really amazing. And last but not least, they created a different team based on girls who are not humans. And I love this category. I love this category. So to start, we have Amur or Lulu, who is an android from Hugto. And then we get to start Twinkle. We have Lala and Yuni, who are both aliens. They're not from Earth. Well, actually, Lala is Samanian, and Yuni is from Planet Rainbow. She's a Rainbownian. I don't even remember if they actually have names. I think that the Saman people they do have, but I don't remember. And we also have our girl Asumi, who is a spirit, a fairy, whatever you want to call her. She's just no human. <laughs> and, you know, those also are really, really looking stylish. Lala is giving me jan janitor fashion. Just look at Lulu. Girl, Lulu is rocking this. Lulu is really bringing the fashion and the attitude, you know. And one thing I love about uh, Asumi's costume is that she uh, one of the things in her leg, what is it called? Uh, it's they're different than each other. They're different and it looks so fashionable as well. And her face, it looks like, what am I doing here? <laughs> what is going on? I oh my God, this is really, really incredible. And, you know, one thing that I love about this kind of thing, about this kind of art that they create and that they they do for Precure and, you know, they're doing it for uh, th this movie, the Miracle Leap movie. One thing I love about this is that, you know, I love seeing our main characters in a different scenario with different costumes, in a different fashion, doing something different that they don't usually do. And, you know, I just love it. And this is everything. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a collaboration. So, um, like, it's going to be very hard to get those keychains, you know, buttons, as you can see here, that are buttons for each girl as well. I love them, but they're, I'm pretty sure they're going to be very, very hard to get. And pr they're probably not going to sell it worldwide. So we probably have to get on auction websites, which are pretty expensive. But, you know, I, I'm just happy they exist and we can at least look at them because they just look incredible. I would love to have an Elena keychain girl because you guys know how much I love Elena. So I would love to have an Elena keychain, you know, the, the, the scroll with the girls, with the yellow girls and Emiru. Oh, my God. Tiny, tiny, tiny Emiru. <laughs> this is I, I just can't. Every time I look at this image. My eyes get drawn to Emily. She is so tiny. I love her so much. And, you know, this is just really, really incredible. And they're also uh, showing the Precure uh, and TGC online store. But the online, the store isn't open yet. They're probably going to start adding stuff to this store closer to the release of the collaboration, which is September 5th. So next week... Next week, right on Saturday. Next, next Saturday. So we're not very far away. So I really wish we could have those images in high quality. Pretty sure we won't because they are merchandise. So they're not giving a, them, they're not giving the images in high quality to us. Hard, right? But which one of those is your fave look? I have a very hard time choosing a favorite. Uh... Since those, uh, this look is one of the easiest for us to look at, Nodoka's look is definitely one of my faves. I love this. 
Hikaru's look is very uh, chic and like retro at the same time. I love this. Hana's look is also very stylish, but I feel like Nodoka's is one of my faves together with Chiyu's look. Chiyu's look is really incredible to me. You know, really, really incredible. Just look at this. Come on. Come on. Really, really incredible. And I'm biased. So obviously, Elena will be on my top as well. She is wearing something very different. And I love it as well. So I'm going to say, I'm going to put Elena as one of my faves. But I really want to hear from you. Which one is your fave out of all those new costumes? Which one do you think is the most fashionable? Is, which one do you think the girl is rocking it the most? Please let me know on the comment box below. You know, I just have to come here and share my love for those things that they do with merchandise. I mean, they really know how to get our heart and our money. Thank you so much for watching and until next time. Bye bye.